If you are like me, you just can't wait to start cooking with a brand new pan. This is the Stargazer micro textured pan, as opposed to the original Stargazer, which was just machined and polished. And incidentally, you can see the difference in the finish. Uh, the seasoning just plain sticks better to the new surface than it, than it does or, or did to the old. And you can see the surface uh, excess seasoning, it starts to flake off as you cook. And that's because the pan doesn't have any abrasion. Uh, these highly polished pans do this. It's almost like a carbon steel pan. You, you know, I experienced this with carbon steel, but this was the original Kickstarter. If you follow my videos and you remember uh, this pan, it's got a little pit in it. Uh, this is this many years later. You know, I'd, I'd have to go back and look at the video to see how many years I've uh, been using this pan. Love it. Uh, it's held up well, but it just, it doesn't compare to the new, uh, the new Stargazers. Uh, after they machine it and polish it, they um, do what's called a micro texture. Uh, they also call it a micro abrasion process. So I would assume they shoot it with uh, some kind of abrasive and it puts this kind of this matte finish on it. Uh, right out of the box, it feels like a silky smooth finish. It's really kind of a unique finish for metal, but the seasoning just holds. It, it's amazing how well the seasoning holds. Uh, please catch my previous videos where I seasoned this in uh, Traeger, in a Traeger uh, smoker, you know, pellet grill, and then I burned in the finish to uh, just really speed up the process. I mean, if you're a purist, I guess you could well, obviously you could just cook on it for months and months, uh, but that process really speeds in the, the surface and it just responded better on this pan than any other pan that I've seasoned like that. Uh, so of course, gotta cook something. So let's cook some, uh, let's cook some eggs. It's actually uh, breakfast time and I'd cook them anyway, uh, just cause I want to. I wanna feature this. Um, this is actually a fish spatula. Uh, I, I'm going to use it for everything. Uh, it, uh, I got a bunch of comments in one of my previous videos, which was this spatula. And, uh, this one was like eight bucks. I got it on, uh, I actually got it at a local kitchen store. And the nice thing about it is it does hang if you want to hang it. I don't, so there's no value there for me, but so many people asked about this spatula. Well, this is the Smithy Iron, uh, what do they say, Ironware. Smithy Ironware Company. So yes, I do have a new Smithy pan that I'm going to uh, do a video on, but the craftsmanship on this is unbelievable. These rivets are perfectly smooth with the surface. They're brass or bronze, and it's got a stainless steel, uh, Tang, I guess, tong, I don't know what you call that, but it goes all the way through the metal. Not that you'd need it, I mean, it's just a spatula, but the, the finish on this, it's got a nice slight curve to it where my old one was straight, so I do like the curve. Uh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful craftsmanship in this, something as simple as a, as a fish spatula. Anyway, uh, I'm using this much butter. It's not quite a uh, tablespoon probably half a tablespoon, maybe a little better. And I know that, uh, uh, I, I get it. You put enough butter on any pan and that egg is gonna slide around, but you know, I like the butter. If it was a smaller pan, I'd probably use a little less butter, uh, but I really don't want it to stick. And sometimes I cook it too hot or I cook it too slow or, you know, whatever. I am not an expert here by any means, but uh, but I do like my butter. All right, so everybody's got an opinion on this. I, I don't really know the rules and I also don't really care. I let it kind of bubble up and I cook it a little lower than I normally would uh, just because the pan holds heat so well. I have found that when you see these guys on YouTube that just slide the egg around, there is this sweet timing where it's 
bubbling but not burning and I generally miss that time and the eggs end up sticking just a little bit but let's see how this goes this is the first time I'm using this uh, this pan with this new surface Probably a little too soon. I'm going to heat it up just a little bit more. So stressful. When do you put the egg in? want to kind of hold them in the middle there. I hate it when they run all over the place. It would be nice if these pans were just a little bit concave where they, all, where everything just kind of formed in the middle. They seem to be super flat. And you get this little bit of runoff over here. Let me, uh, let's move you in a little bit here so you can really see what I'm doing. That is looking good so far. So obviously uh, this part of the pan here is a little hotter than the outside out here. I'm just going to move it over a bit. You'd think it would uh, be a little bit more even. For me that is the perfect amount of butter right there. It's gonna be delicious. I watched this movie recently. Uh, it's called Fed Up. It's a documentary on the sugar industry. They talk about uh, sugar poisoning you versus um, versus fat, and uh, this whole fat revolution, where you know it, it was the way to uh, pull the fat out of product. So I am getting a little bit of sticking out here around the edges, but I don't think it's gonna be a problem. You can see right, yeah, right there, it, it just released. Um, anyway, the uh, movie talks about how there is sugar in everything, and it's just poison, and I started looking recently, and I was really surprised to see how much sugar is added. I'll give you an example. So I drink uh, skim milk, or 2% milk. They add sugar. There is added sugar to freaking milk. I just started really kind of paying attention to this, but I'm going to pay more attention because, you know, I, I'm, I'm talking and I forgot to turn it down. Uh, I think that is one of the problems is uh, it gets a little bit too hot. So I'm just gonna lift it up off the thing here, but there you go, with just minimal effort. We have sliding eggs, yay. True testament of a pan put all this energy into this pan and if it doesn't cook eggs, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm kidding, but anyway, uh, so back to the, uh, the, the sugar thing. Uh, the, the whole documentary, once again, it's called Fed Up. The whole documentary talks about uh, the, how sugar is the problem, not necessarily fat, and how the sugar lobbyists just, you know, they, there's sugar in everything. And, um, and just how bad it is for you. You know, they really, they list it as, as poison. And I tend to agree. Uh, so if you're interested, when you buy products, look and see how much fat is in them. It's shocking to me how much fat is, I mean sugar, is uh, added to products that advertise and look like they're actually good for you. Anyway, all right, so let's see. It's kind of sticking a little bit where I flipped it. Oh, not anymore. All right. Egg test. And it passes. As always, thanks for watching. And uh, please subscribe. Oh, just gotta, gotta just open up that, that yolk a little bit. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delish. Okay, I'm gonna eat these. But uh, as far as this pan goes, really happy with, uh, with the first cook. This micro texture is amazing. It's a 100% improvement over the previous pan, even though the previous pan was pretty darn good. So, uh, so that's my opinion, and that is a first cook, first look. 
at a well-seasoned brand new stargazer. Thanks for watching. Here's another test of how well your seasoning is sticking. So I'm gonna turn this on, uh, you know, probably four or five. I don't want it to be real hot, but this is right out of the sink. Oop, there we go. And um, I just hand dry it, right? And uh, put a little oil in it, All right? This is uh, coconut oil. And here's the test that I wanted to show you. If you take a paper towel, and you wipe the inside, you know, give it that nice, super thin coating. And I'm gonna turn the heat off because all I did was, uh, all I wanna do is just get the water out of the pores. You can see there's a little water on the back. Um, I guess I'll have to dry that again. Anyway, here's my point in showing you this. There's nothing on the towel. If you wipe your cast iron, and your cast iron has like a little bit of discoloration, that seasoning is not holding. This new micro texture from Stargazer, that's how well it holds the seasoning. Nothing. Pretty neat. I'll show you real quick. Put the pan down here. This is right after cleaning. I had to scrub it just a little bit with a uh, scouring pad, but that is what it looks like after uh, after we cooked. I always like to look for any little, you know, food that sticks and doesn't want to come up. I'll put a little coat of oil on this, make it nice and shiny. Uh, and I don't know if you can see right here, I, I do have a little line from the uh, spatula, but nothing stuck, the food didn't stick. All I did was soak it in water for about two or three minutes and then used, um, scouring pad, this thing right here, to uh, clean it up. That's how hard that surface is. And that's hemp seed oil that's been burned in. So that surface uh, really held up well. Metal spatula and scouring pad. A plus, just wanted to show you that. Okay, video's really over.